In this introduction to open source, we are going to define the term, list some of the advantages and disadvantages, applications, and do a brief history of open source. Let us begin with the definition. Open source can be defined as the term used to describe software that is provided free of charge along with the original source code used to create it so that anyone can modify it to improve it and work in ways that reflect their own preferences. To clarify, source code is a program that is written by the programmer and looks like this. It becomes machine code or binary after going through a special program called a compiler. Open source is highly advantageous. Possibly the biggest advantage of open source software is the fact that everybody has a right to modify the source code. This means that any number of people can become editors of the code. Furthermore, redistribution of the open source code is also encouraged. Therefore, bug fixes can be redistributed instantly instead of having to wait for a newer release. Because of the nature of open source, in most cases, it is free. Finally, with such a large base of developers, new versions are frequently released. Now for some of the disadvantages. A large disadvantage to open source software is that it is difficult to tell which version is newest due to frequent releases and lack of advertisements. Just as development is free and encouraged in open source, it is also not compulsory. Closed source software companies pay people to develop the software and therefore development is guaranteed. Moreover, with many people coding, the possibility of incompatibilities arises. Typically, the interface of open source software is not user friendly. Now, let us look at some open source applications. OpenOffice is an open source office suite. It can be used as an alternative to Microsoft Office. Ubuntu is an open source operating system that can be used as an alternative to Windows and Mac operating systems. An open source alternative to Photoshop is GIMP, GNU Image Manipulation Program. Now for a brief history. One of the pioneers of open source was Eric Raymond. In his book, The Cathedral and the Bazaar, he presented ideas which revolutionized the hacker community. After his presentation of the book, Netscape decided to release the source code for their browser. The following year, the open source term was recognized. A meeting was held where a vote was passed to promote the use of the term. For more information on open source, please click the link below.